Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about special right triangles. There are two of them. One is a 30-60-90 triangle and the other is a 45-45-90 triangle. Uh, they're both right triangles and they both have uh, some patterns to them in terms of the side lengths <coughs> angle measures, of course, <coughs> uh, and the relationship between all uh, three angles and sides. So let's take a look at the first uh, special right triangle, and that's a 30-60-90 triangle. And our theorem 72 says that in a triangle whose angles have the measure of 30, 60, and 90, the lengths of the sides opposite these angles can be represented by x, x root 3, and 2x respectively. So what I like to tell my students is that we always try to start with the 30 degree, or the side that's opposite the 30 degree angle. We identify that as x first, and then we move on to the 60 degree, uh, the side that's opposite 60 degrees, that's going to be x root 3, and then the side opposite 90 is going to be 2x. So everything is in relation to the value or the length of the side that's opposite the 30 degree side. So again, theorem 72 in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, we have the lengths of the sides opposite these angles in order x is the length of the side opposite 30 degrees, x root 3 side opposite uh, 60 degrees, and then 2x is the length of the side opposite the 90 degree angle. Right, so I mentioned that the second special family is going to be your 45, 45, 90 triangle. Uh, that brings us to theorem 73, which says in a triangle whose angles have the measure 45, 45, and 90, the lengths of the sides opposite these angles can be represented by x, x, and x root 2 respectively. So again, we start with the sides opposite the 40 degree angle. We identify those as x. And then the hypotenuse has a relationship of x root 2 uh, times either side, or just root 2 times either side, um, or x root 2 as the value. So let's take a look at a couple examples and see if you can work out the relationships. That's basically it for the section but let's talk about how to work out the different side lengths. And things become a little bit more tricky for you uh, when you're working out certain side lengths. Uh, so let's start with an easy one. I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I want to figure out uh, what the lengths of the hypotenuse and these sides are. Well, of course I can determine that this angle measure is going to be 60. So I know the side opposite this length is 3, and this length is going to be some value, and this length is going to be some value. Well, I know that <clears throat> the side opposite the 60 degree side is going to be, if this were x, this is going to be 2x, and this is going to be x root 3. So I know that x root 3 is going to be equal to 3. So now I just solve for x. I divide both sides by root 3. I get x is equal to 3 root 3. I recall that I need to rationalize the denominator. In this case, I multiply both the numerator and denominator by root 3, and I end up with 3 root 3 over 3. Uh, both 3 and 3 in numerator and denominator reduce to 1, and I'm left with a value of root 3 for my value of x. Now I know that the side opposite 90 degree angle is 2 times x, so again, my strategy is to figure out first, if I don't already have it, what the value is of the side opposite the 30 degree angle, and 2x now becomes 2 root 3. Okay, moving on. I have 30, 60, 90 triangle again. 4 <clears throat> uh, is the value for x now, so this becomes a little more easy. And I have 4 root 3, and then finally 2x, which is going to be 8. Okay, another problem, now I'm dealing with the hypotenuse. I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle set up in a similar orientation. X, this value is going to be 4. It's half of the hypotenuse. The side opposite the 30 degree angle is half the hypotenuse. Side opposite the 60 degree angle is going to be half the hypotenuse times root 3. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of 45, 45, 90 triangles. 45. Now I say that these are X and both sides opposite the 45 degree angles are x. So I know that x times root 2 again is equal to 5. So again, I divide by root 2 to solve for x. I get x is equal to 5 over root 2. I rationalize the denominator. I get 5 root 2, or my result is 5 root 2 over 2, and that's my final answer. So this 
Uh, both of these sides are going to be 5 root 2 divided by 2. And then if we have another, looks like, looks like we have another 30, 60, 90 triangle. I know this is 5. I have 5 root 3, and 2x would be 10. So you see how simple this can be? Again, a 35, I'm sorry, a 45, 45, 90 triangle. I have 3. Of course, this side is going to be 3 as well. I have an isosceles triangle. And then this will be 3 root 2. The hypotenuse is going to be the value of the, or the length of the side opposite the 45 degree uh, side multiplied by root 2. All right, uh, triangle, let's take on another problem. This is kind of part of your practice, but uh, I'm going to do this as part of the lesson. Triangle ABC is equilateral. Find AD, BD, and CD. So ABC is equilateral. So I know that AC is 12. I know uh, CB is 12. And I know AB is going to be equal to 12. If it's equilateral, I know that these angle measures are going to be 60. I have 60, 60, and uh, now I have 30 degrees here, right? That's all I'm left with because I know that this angle measure is 90. So I'm left with a 30, 60, 90 triangle. My hypotenuse is 12. I know the side opposite the 30 degree angle is going to be 6. This length is 6. And I know that CD is going to be 6 root 3. So I can find AD, it's going to be 6. BD is also going to be 6. And CD is going to be 6 root 3 based on the 30, 60, 90 uh, family triangle relationship. All right, that's it for the lesson. Come back and join us for a couple practice problems. Not in math.